All right, starting off first with a 1952 90% silver Washington quarter. Of course, 1964 and prior, these quarters are 90% silver. Now, this coin sold for over $165 at auction, not because it's silver from 1952. You know, these are pretty common quarters. However, it's got a mint error. The coin has been broad struck out of collar, and you'll see that around the rim of the coin there. Uh, this coin is the D mint mark, so if you want to look for your mint marks on your Washington quarters from 1952, you want to look on the reverse at the bottom. Now, like I said, this coin has sold for over $165 at auction. It is graded by PCGS, the coin grading company, at a mint state 61. The coin grading scale goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade you can get. Now, this next coin here is a 1958 D mint mark, also a silver Washington quarter that has been struck onto a defense planchet so we can see that there as we zoom in on this quarter now this coin is graded by NGC at a mint state 63 and this quarter ended up selling for over $135 now here is a large broad strike taking place on a 1964 Washington quarter, the last year that they produced 90% silver quarters for circulation. Now you can see that clearly in the images displayed around the rim of the coin, and this coin is graded at a mint state 62 by PCGS. This quarter ended up selling for over $190. Now here is a more modern coin. Of course, this is not a silver quarter. This is a regular 1972 clad Washington quarter. And this coin has a die break. So as we zoom in here on the reverse of the coin above the word United, you can see that extra metal there. So you can look for that on all your different coins, not just quarters. Uh, you know, some can be much larger than this. Some will maybe even be a little bit smaller. That extra metal there on the rim of the coin is also referred to as a cud. Now this coin is not in the best shape. It's only graded at an AU50 by Annex, and this quarter ended up selling for around $20 at auction. So after you pay to have it graded, not making any profit on this coin, you know, had it been a high mint state grade, it could have sold for a lot more money. Now here is a 1973 Washington quarter that has a tilted partial collar. So this coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 60, much better grade than the last coin, but the coin only sold for around $37 at auction. So, uh, you know, not extremely valuable there, but it is, you know, a cool mint error if you want to have it graded for your personal collection just to keep. But again, to try to sell something like this after you pay to have it graded and shipping and things, you're not making a profit there. Now, here is a 1974 Washington quarter that has been double struck. So we're getting more modern here as we go. 1974 quarter, graded by PCGS at a mint state 63, ended up selling at auction for over $335. Very nice mint error there. Now here is a Washington quarter from 1978 that has been struck 10% off center, graded at a mint state 60 by Annex. This coin ended up selling for around $75 at auction. Of course, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins as well. So when I'm looking at these mint errors, these are mint errors that can happen on pennies or nickels or dimes as well. Now here is a 1988 quarter that was struck onto a five cent planchet. So this is graded by NGC at a mint state 66, very nice grade. And you can see that the coin design, you know, is getting cut off. It doesn't fit onto this planchet, and that's because it's onto a Jefferson nickel planchet. And this coin ended up selling at auction for over $850. You can't beat turning 25 cents into almost $900. Now here is a 1998 Washington quarter, one of my favorite type of double strikes that look like this, where you can see both designs there clearly on, uh, you know, the front of the coin, and it isn't struck, you know, 90% off center or anything, that double strike. Uh, it's a really nice mint error here. It almost looks like it fits onto the whole coin. Uh, this coin ended up selling at auction for around $840, graded at a mint state 65 by NGC. Now here is a state quarter from the year 2000. This is the Maryland state quarter. You can kind of see the design there as we zoom in on the middle of the quarter. Now this coin is faded all out because of the mint error that it has. It's been struck through on the obverse of the coin and on the reverse. So you'll kind of see Washington's nose and eye and hair there in the middle of the coin, but the rest of it is faded out due to the mint error. And this coin, believe it or not, sold for over $110. 
because of that mint error. So always be on the lookout for things like that. Here's another example of that taking place on the 2000 Massachusetts state quarter, and it is graded by NGC, authenticated as a mint error. Uh, the die adjustment strike, again, this coin ended up selling for over $155 at auction. Now here is a state quarter from 2000. Again, the Maryland state quarter looks very normal on the reverse, but here on the obverse, we see the inner copper layer of the quarter, and that's because it's missing that outer clad layer. Now this coin ended up selling for around $100 at auction, graded at a mint state 64 by NGC. Now here's a no dated Washington quarter, clad quarter here, that sold for around $145, and that's because it has been struck 60% off center, onto a blank planchet. This coin is also graded by PCGS at a mint state 64. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.